second straight weekend. Uh, and as uh, so that's how they get the big names. And as uh, as T said, yeah, it's at twelve fifteen Central today. Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, and Brooks Kepka off uh, all teeing off uh, together. So that uh, that's that's some must watch television. In fact, you know, in a no sports world right now, I mean that's. That's about as good as a draw as the PGA can give you on a Thursday. Tiger and Dak. I mean, it goes together like chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah, just well, you know, one wins, one's mediocre. <laughs> uh, um, the Dak discussion got him going for sure, T. Can I just, for the you record. help you up? No, can I just, for the you record. The you, you Your are, nose is bleeding, bro. You are Donald Trumping me right now. Your where you've created, you've created a nice, like, uh, no, well, what's what I'm looking for? Like a slogan? I don't know what. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like now you could just say eight and eight to anything that I say, eight and, eight. and it's eight and it's and eight. it's literally eight eight. untrue. He's forty and twenty four. He has the sixth best record in the league since he entered. Oh, that'll get you somewhere. He even has a playoff win. Hey, babe, how are you? Can I buy you a drink? I got the <laughs> sixth best winning record in the league right, right that's now. That's impressive. See, this is this is like a huge politician thing you're doing here. You can't just act like that's not impressive. That's good. And what are you doing by yelling at me? <laughs> Yeah, waving I mean, your it's fingers. Not, it's, I'm getting nowhere, apparently. I'm getting yes. smashed. Yes, take your 8-8 eight and eight record like and get Ted the Cru- hell out of here. Like Ted Cruz 40 up wins. here. Give me the hammered, biggest dude. win out of those 40, T. Give me the biggest. If, you can, if you're a Dak fan, you know about all those 40 wins. Cherry pick the biggest one out of those 40. I, I, I just referenced it. I think it was probably beating uh, Russell Wilson in the playoffs. I, th- I think that's a good win. That's, a, that's probably right. <laughs> but, but he's 1-2 he's right. in the playoffs. He's tied for fifth in fourth quarter comeback since he entered the league. Third in game winning drives. Third best QBR in the league when the game is late with him one score. Hey, Dale. I mean, Danny, you want to speak up on this? <laughs> you want to say something? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah, Danny's the driving force <laughs> behind the Dak hate. Jordy's just the Dick Vitale public figure in all of this. Yeah, I mean, Dak Prescott, he's average. I mean, he, he goes off his offense. It's a run game. Oh. Play action. Wow. I mean, I, I, he's not a bad quarterback. I never say he's bad. Nobody, he's sh- nobody shows more Dak dislike or ill confidence than when you give me the Dak record and you start with his night in Tiger Stadium in 2013. Who started that? Uh, just the huddle. Oh, you know what I mean. A lot of the huddle people coming out. Don't you remember what he did to LSU? Yeah, that, was night, that, that was a bad, bad night, dude. That was a bad night. That was a bad night. <laughs> and that was after beating him what 18 years in a row. I who think was the streak the safety, had gotten up to. Who was to? the safety he ran through? Was it Jalen Mills that he ran like into the Tiger Stadium turf on that 70-yard yeah, touchdown run? If we can bring up the highlight, I mean, it was like, what the hell is going on? The craziest part about that night. Is that didn't LSU have a hail mary chance to win the game? Did they, they did. They, they did because they, they took out Anthony Jennings and yes. put in Brandon Harris. Despite the fact that they got their ass kicked, they they, they, they they managed to like they get did. a couple Cause late that, scores. Because then they started Harris the next week at Auburn and got oh piled. watch this God, run, dude. Yeah. Watch this run. And I've heard about oh my <laughs> word, that Jaylen, was like a Pat P. Catch a Cam number. Newton type uh, stiff arm. Jalen right Mills. Ooh, what a lead block by back one, it up too. a little bit, Dan. Jalen Mills is a hell of a player, Hell of too. a player. I mean... Uh, hell of a player. Look so at Dak's dad. So that. Rocking the 15 in I mean, Tiger bro, State. I mean, how high what could you night. be if you were... What a night. A Dak's dad, or even just a Mississippi State fan. You've lost 18 years in a row. All right, Danny, slow it down here when he breaks through the first line. Watch I Jaylen remember Mills. exactly Look. where I was watching that play. Oof. Oof. I mean... Oof. Planted. This cut, too, is pretty dirty. Hell of a tight end. <laughs> 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 Shout out your guy, Jordy. Great hands, yeah. There you go. Okay, who's better, Dak or Carson Wentz and Jared Goff? If I give you those three, you're picking Dak. Don't speak for me. I, I'm sorry. Doesn't Jared Goff have a Super Bowl appearance? Bro. Appearance. Appearance. Is that an appearance. What he's is there? He's two How and two. How many Super Bowls has Dak he, been to? He's two, he's two and two in the playoffs to one and three. Golly, you know it's going to be also, an unpopular, golf, an unpopular did, choice here. Is I would probably pick Wentz, even though he can't stay on the field. Uh, that's the problem. Standpoint. Uh, he would have won an MVP if he didn't get hurt that year. But he keeps getting credit for that year. He has not been that good. And after. he keeps getting hurt. He keeps he has getting not hurt. been that good after. And he, yes, he keeps getting hurt. Yeah, absolutely. You know who's never missed a game? DP. DP. That's my guy. Stop it. My D- guy. DP8. <laughs> my guy. DP8. The dumbest part and about eight. this is I don't know if it's my contrarian sensibilities or what, but I hate the Cowboys. They, they've been the NFL Seriously, team. Seriously, man. Actively, if your dad yeah. heard you right now I, taking up for the Cowboys nope, quarterback. Nope. Nope. I, I will say this. While, while that man will hate on the Cowgirls as a franchise, he is also the ultimate believer 
in credit where credit's due. That you can't just be a hater for hater reasons. He would give Dak Prescott credit. You know what? I'd like Bobby's Put probably a test. good authority on this. Can we call him? I'll, I'll text, text him, him I'll right text now. Him. I'd love to get to Bobby's clear, thoughts on where he stands on Dak. And don't you text him where you stand. No, no, just, I'll, say, I'll just say, come hey, on and talk. We're having an argument. You want to come uh, yep. give your piece on Dak Prescott? Uh, I, the only thing is, maybe it'll have to happen later because sleep. That man's very lazy, yeah. and uh, which he's earned. He's well, you, absolutely earned. He's not lazy because I mean, he's like worked so hard his entire life. You get it honest. You get it yeah. honest. <laughs> he, he wakes up at uh, like ten a.m. So okay. yeah. So we'll see. I will not be here tomorrow. Make sure I'm here when he comes on okay. and we debate this this discussion. Okay, fair. Please text him now and see if he's uh, up and if he can get in before 10 o'clock. I'd love to hear it. For what it's worth, to the original question, who has most to prove? I think you're probably right with uh, with Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. Just because he had the biggest fall from grace. So he has the most ground that can be gained back. And he is in the most stable franchise in the entire NFL. So he's like set up perfectly for success, meaning... If it doesn't happen there, that people are going to blame him directly. Like Jordy said, it probably results if he doesn't want to take a backup role in maybe being out of the league. For for me personally, though, I'm still on the my my take lately that I've been hammering is that Aaron Rodgers is the biggest fraud in the NFL. Now I will I I will buy stock in that. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I think that 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 is, and especially once you lay out the argument. Like it's kind of yeah. clear cut. I'll try to I'll try to find um when did we talk about this last week? I, I want to find my notes again, but yeah, the fact that he made the all decade team over Breeze is a joke. The fact that anybody would put him on a top five list over Breeze is an unbelievable joke. Um Aaron Rodgers is damn good, but but he has not been the elite of the elite. And, and it sounds weird, I guess, coming off a thirteen win season, but like Drew Breeze last year, thirteen wins that that ultimately kind of resulted in uh disappointment. Let so. me tell you though, man. If I am, uh, if I'm Blaine Lord or Peter Wright at, uh, at Lord Murray and handle Dak Prescott's finances, hey, hey. sit in a pretty good spot collecting thirty one and a half million this year. And if they want to franchise me next yep. year, go ahead. Thirty seven. Give me the thirty eight million. It would it would give him the most. Uh, it would give him the most guaranteed money. I think in a two year span than anybody's ever gotten. It would surpass. The Kirk Cousins two franchise tags that ended up working out really nice. See that there, Musso? You can be mediocre in life and get rich, my man. You can be mediocre in life and get rich. Chad yeah, Durbin, 20 yeah. minutes from now, here you, on OTP. You just have to be 250 pounds, run a 4 six forty, right. throw the ball That's like right. 80 yards keep in the pl- air. Keep plugging, though, Moose. Keep plugging. <laughs> One thing you do have to acknowledge on Dak is that he is the quarterback. <laughs> he is the example who is at the right place in the right time in NFL's pay structure and free agency when the quarterback position is the most lucrative in sports, right? I mean, we can throw out Dak's record all we want and talk about his inability to win the big game or inability to get to the big game, or you could talk about his record, and we could go sideways on on where we feel about him. But one thing that can't be argued is that he is in the perfect place yeah, he's at the pick. perfect time to make the money at that position, a lot like Sam Bradford was. Back when he got drafted number one overall after everybody was the fallout was the Jamarcus Russell contract that he got $36.5 million guaranteed before he even took a snap. And Sam Bradford, I believe, got $50 million guaranteed before he ever took a snap Mm. as the number one overall pick. And the structure of how they paid players in the league had to change with the collective bargaining agreement. Now, the collective bargaining agreement that they agreed upon in 2011 now says that the quarterback position is is the guy. Well, the the thing the thing that happened is with quarterback specifically is that uh franchise tags are bad for players on the whole. Um they they are very team long-term friendly, security. right? Yeah, no, fran- no long-term. No security. long-term. Yeah, exactly. Franchise tags allow teams to keep you for cheap. If Derrick Henry and the Titans and this is why Derrick Henry had to take that deal. If Derrick Henry and the Titans uh had not come to a deal yesterday, Jordy, do you know how much Derrick Henry would have been making this year? You're getting distracted by the attractive women on television. Sixteen million? Ten million because of how low the running back room has gone. Uh he would have made ten well, he would have, he would have made ten million dollars. Uh so no all, all positions hate the franchise tag, except if you are in the yeah. unique position of being a good quarterback, of being a quarterback on Dax level, or like, you know, okay, he's he's similar to like where Kirk Cousins was a a, a couple of years ago. Definitely above average. Um, maybe not in the top five, like not not in the top five. Dax Dax is somewhere in that six through ten range. P- point being, the quarterback is the only position that can feel stable playing on a franchise tag 
Because you know somebody will pay Dak if the Cowboys ever let him hit the free market. This is a fair question to the room. Everybody crack their mics. Is he that much better than Andy Dalton? Uh, I, I think is so. He clearly, is he clearly yes. better than Andy Dalton? Yes, clearly. In what, in, in what fashion? Uh, we, uh, we can bring up the numbers. I know we did a while back, but we can bring up the numbers. But, I mean, I, I, think, I think his record is better. Although Dalton's record is probably pretty good, uh, given that he's made the playoffs so many times. Andy Dalton's playoff performances have been abysmal. Even in losses, Dak's been pretty good. Remember, he had that epic loss to the Cowboys where they started the fourth quarter down 28-13. He ties it up. Uh, ties it up again with a field goal, but then Aaron Rodgers hit that like crazy third and 20 going out of bounds throw to Jared Cook. And so, you no, know, Dak has been infinitely better than Dalton in the playoffs. And I'm pretty sure just like statistically, he's been better. We're and and this is only in Bengals, though. Like, Bengals only four and Cowboys. Years. Okay, but, but the Bengals, how many playoffs do the Bengals make, Danny? And then who was the direct? Look at Andy Dalton's playoff numbers. I feel bad. Okay, I feel bad. He was directly responsible for the Bengals blowing it in the playoffs every year. He was terrible. In the playoffs. Um, so, yes, D- Dak Prescott's clearly better than Andy Dalton. Clearly, Dan? I think he's a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> the hesitant. Boost? I, th- I, think, I think Prescott's better. Okay, but I, mean, I don't know if I'd go clearly, but I think he is okay. better. All right, he, I mean, so, he, I mean, on your fantasy draft, if there's still two starting. quarterbacks on the board and it's Dalton and Dak, you choosing Dak, no doubt? Oh, yeah. Bro, if fantasy, on absolutely. A fantasy draft, yes. That's probably a bad example. That's yes. probably a bad example. Okay, now, now this is my so, eight, Nate. I don't even, I don't even play eight, fantasy, eight, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, if, if, you're, if you're sitting as the GM in the draft room and you're drafting the actual quarterback for the, for the team, forget your fantasy squad. You going Dak over Dalton? Just Knowing what we know now? Yeah. Or coming I'll, out of I'll college? Even, no, no, coming out of college. I'll give you, I'll give you, so let's say they're both four years into their career. If you draft Andy Dalton, you're a psychopath. I mean, you, not look, necessarily. None of y'all, y'all wants to commit to drafting Andy Dalton. Andy you know Dalton's that. Not terrible. You give me a, bu- bu- give me a bunch of bums. You can't erase what you know now. That's why. But, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That like, is you, true. You can't. You, all right, uh, I, I'm moving on from the from from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because I, if, if the cannon calls back in though, I, I want I want to, I want him. He is the authority the on text this. Text is out. If he does okay. not answer the text, I'm going to call him next commercial right. break. And if he says he can go tomorrow, you got to bump it to next week. Um, because I'm out. Andy Dalton. I'm, I'm looking up stats. He, had, he, I mean, his numbers aren't bad through four years, but they're not. They're just not as they're just not as good as Dax. He basically threw like a one to one touchdown to interception ratio. Brody Miller over at the Athletic has a write up about LSU's stability of offensive oh, position okay. groups. Here, here's what I was looking for in four career playoff games. Andy Dalton is completing 55 percent of his passes with one touchdown and six interceptions. Okay, that's disgusting. In four games. That's gross. Um, Dak Prescott, on the other hand, um, why am I only seeing two games here? Uh, five touchdowns, two picks, completing 65% of his passes. He so made clearly to, better. He made it to the divisional round in his rookie year? I don't remember, to be honest. Got, that was a great, so, it was a yeah. great game against Green Bay. I remember it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of the playoff games that he's been to. That, that's that, that, either, way, either, either way, either way, my, my point is Andy Dalton's garbage. Um, um, compared to Dak. Dak might be too. To like or not to like, that is the question. And I'd like you to answer that question by smashing that like button, subscribing to Off the Bench, and then clicking on one of these wonderful videos. You missed Coach O stopping by OTB on Tuesday. Well, that's right there. And then look at this. Pelicans, Saints, Tigers, everything your Louisiana heart desires right here on Off the Bench. Check us out live, 104.5 ESPN YouTube channel. Listen to us 7 to 10 a.m. each and every weekday. We'll see you then on OTB.